What is going on world? I am the Hungarian Experiment and today is quite an exciting day. I am on the Weibo Limo Tour. If you may be able to see by this amazing landscape and house behind me, we are going to tour several different houses here in London, Ontario for real estate uh, possibilities in future. To be honest, I don't know much about this. I'm still learning about financial independence, how to retire early and all this stuff. And being part of this group, just vibing with these people is helping me to build a whole lot of skills and a whole lot of knowledge in this world. So if you guys are interested, come on the journey with me. We're gonna go on the Weibo Limo Tour. We're gonna see what it's all about. Right now we are actually in Byron here in London, Ontario and this is an amazingly beautiful house. I can't believe this right now. This is the first stop on the tour so let's see what the house is like and let's see what the limo tour is like. I think I see some Anderson Craft Ales here on the Weibo Limo Tour. Second property, definitely not as luxurious as the other one, but let's go in and take a look. What do you think of this place, Dylan? It's nice, interesting, nice cute little unit. She's got it done up nice. Do you guys mind if I ask you a question for the video? Sure. So when you guys are on these limo tours, what are you looking for when you're checking out these uh, buildings, these places? Honestly, what I mostly get out of it is talk to other people, just kind of hearing their thoughts, what they're looking for. There's definitely a time where I was looking at like trying to find a deal. And, like right now, I'm just excited, hoping that somebody else will pick this up. Uh, I think this particular property is quite approachable. It's like someone's first home, especially an owner-occupied duplex. So kind of just vibing off other people, seeing how other people are looking at the property. That's yeah, that's that's a lot of what I get out of these tours. Just like boots on the ground in the field with other investors. Awesome, Matt. Do you look at it any differently than Kellen or? Uh, no, so it's a lot just on these tours. You're just going to really get a quick feel for the bones of the property. So you're not going to be like this is an in-depth inspection, right? So you're just kind of really run and gunning it, but. You can get a rough feel for the numbers as well as a rough feel for structurally how sound the building is and then you can kind of color in all the details later at a different date, but yeah. yeah. I see. It's just a nice way to check out a whole bunch of properties within a day and kind of yeah. network with other people and the see what they're on. networking is probably one of the largest parts too. Yeah. Yeah. Totally. Awesome. Well, thank you so much, guys. Yeah. Property number three, so we got the whole
whole crew here. We're gonna check out this property and uh, see what it's all about. We are here at the fourth property. It's kind of vacant in here, so you get a nice idea of what it's like without furniture. And this is the great thing about the Weibo limo tour here, is you're seeing different properties from different perspectives and from people who have a whole ton of knowledge and information on this kind of stuff. So we got real estate investors over there, people who are financially independent, and just being part of this, you're gonna get skills and knowledge. negotiated the fourplex beside it to build it into a package so if you were financially able to you're gonna be you have to buy the single family with the fourplex so you get five units for $399 it's on there right now um, it's in Soho it's right near where some of the guys here already own now uh, and then we're gonna go check out another off-market fourplex remember all these list prices are just a list price rate. Yeah, if you buy with Jeff, everything's at least twenty-five thousand your ass. And I get <laughs> light bulbs. And he said light bulbs. <laughs> we, we did a side bet where he said, if Jeff, if you give me twenty-five K under, I'll give you these LED light bulbs. I'm like, ooh, I like that. <laughs> <laughs> so I literally just worked hard to get the light bulbs. Light bulbs. <laughs> If you see 460, we'll get out and uh, that was bought by some of the investors in this group, not here today, but uh, it's Triplex. And they bought it for Phil? 220. 220, right? 220. 18, 18 all said and done or something like that. Laura lost out on it. <laughs> um, then this is a fourplex here, it's another private deal. I'll talk to them, but I don't think we're really going to go in. But we can probably walk at least, scare the shit out of them and walk the grass a bit. and. Uh, Everybody thinks you're all Toronto investors right now. <laughs> so previous buyers and they bought this property and they're they're not on the Weibel tour because they're working. They're doing renos. So as Jeff mentioned there in the the limo bus, this unit, this property is actually owned by people who have been on the limo tour before but they're not on it right now because they're currently renovating this place and they're going to be fixing it up to rent out to people. Getting financially independent here in London, Ontario. So if you don't mind, what do you think of uh, the Weibo limo tour? Uh, it's a ton of fun. It's like a great chance to meet and network with a bunch of investors of all different stages. People who have been doing this for a long time or people who are just starting. It's great to have like a diversity of opinions and experiences to chat about as well as seeing some good investment properties as well. So so why aren't you on the Weibo Limo Tour today? Uh, well, we're here actually doing renovations and then we're actually heading to our championship baseball game right after. So a little preoccupied this Sunday afternoon. I see. So through the Weibo Limo Tour you saw this place or is this something? No, actually. We, but we did see it through both. Phil and Jeff. Okay. Uh, and Phil's actually the one who put in the offer with us. Yeah. Um, I guess Jeff actually is kind of funny, but yeah. I see. So through the connections with yeah, Jeff so and Phil. Absolutely. Like everyone here has helped us. Like a bunch of them came to do our home inspection and gave us like their experience and their tips and everything. So yeah. Is this your first property ever? It is. Yeah. 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 And did you feel overwhelmed before you knew all this kind of stuff? Or now that you've been on the tour and you've just talked with Jeff and Phil, yeah, you kind of like yeah. thought this is something you could take on or you already knew before that this um, is something like, you could well, do? Me and my boyfriend, like, we started coming to the, uh, what's it called, the London Fire Meeting? Yeah. And so we started talking from there and like, so we started like researching like bigger pockets, listening to the podcast, like, and we did like months and months of research and talking to people and so we kind of like, we knew there was a lot to learn but we kind of felt prepared when we got this place knowing that we had like a really good like support system. Yeah. 
like everyone here, whenever we have a question, just like ask them on Facebook, like, hey, have you ever had experience with this? And the answer is probably yes. And then, I don't know, we've gotten a ton of help, like still learning and everything, but people here are great. <laughs> it makes that learning process easier when you have a nice network yeah. and support group. Yeah. yeah, it looks awesome in here. But Jim, how many landlords have you been through? Seven? Three. Three. Three oh, landlords. I've been saying seven. But <laughs> I've been here 15 years. Yeah. Oh, really? Oh, wow. Yeah. 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 I like this front Yeah. Holy Jesus. Look at that. What's just a tease? Uh, <laughs> hey, that's just a tease. That's hey. like Anderson Craftdale. Yeah, I see that. I see Yeah, it's really good. Wow. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Look at this. Yeah, like tiny. I think it's like you got some of the steam rocks in the right plant and some of the are huge ceilings and they make like round wall there, so what are they asking the ground? I'm honestly not sure. It's a bit of up and down. It's either 175 or two and a quarter, something like that. This unit the ceilings are so high. Really tiny, tiny. yeah. Really nice. I love the artwork. Picture. <laughs> <laughs> a picture of picture. There's two of them. There's yeah. two pictures. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Man. That's pretty fun. We're two and a quarter. It's like 25 bucks. Yeah. Right? Legal yeah. piece right yeah. Exactly. Yeah. So, it's it's it'll it's just sweet. get tied up, tied up, and then after two years, it feels really good. Yeah. yeah. Wow. And it's no it opens show. it up. I know that's only two years. the tour here we go all right so i'm not sure if everyone saw the press release and stuff but this is obviously 100 kellogs and so this is where that new adventure park's going to be moving yeah so there's literally a million square feet of space here and so ed mclaughlin bought it and this back end here is actually still going to be used for warehousing just kind of as is but the front part's what we kind of like wanted to stop and talk to everyone about so the idea here is like I think this is going to be a truly transformative project for London. And then again at the corner of Rectory and Dundas here, which again, we're just talking like two, three blocks from here. There's a proposal going forward that they're expected to break ground in 2018 for two large towers, which are going to add 600 more rental apartments to the area. So I think the, like, the thing is, any one of those projects I named, I think is enough to be a catalyst. But when you start adding them all up together, it's truly going to be transformative for this area, for this community. And so, yeah, we've just been trying to hunt deals down in this area nonstop. We pretty much knew everybody's uh, dog's name in this area and everything about them. So we, we went hunting door to door. 100 Kellogg's Lane, we called our operation Project 100. So, yeah. We're 100% in on 100 Kellogg's Lane. Nothing else mattered, so we skipped showings that day and limo tour yeah. stuff. We just focused on this to bring it to you guys for the tour of your tent. So, like, probably the I think best way to ground this is just think of that like Great Wolf Lodge, right? In Niagara Falls, like that's this here, except for instead of a water park, it's an adventure park. Oh, 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 oh. Okay, so we're not being super creepy, just half creepy. Okay, see the, the canopy looking place right there? Like the uh, veranda? The, yeah. The awning thing? Yeah, like the house straight. The zebra straight. Okay, that's the one Kella does under contract. There's actually no assignability clause, we, I, I'm mistaken. But it doesn't mean they won't, you know, we change Kellen's name for your name and then put up a bigger deposit and ask for five more days or something like that. He should be comfortable. We'll see. Yeah. And then it's the lot closest to us right. as well, right? So when we're driving by, there's that lot and that little house. So earlier Matt was saying, these are the ones you can sit on for five years and be okay. So for 155, even if you got a thousand dollar rent, it's under our little 1% rule, but you got that other lot, hold it till you're ready to crush it and build a 
certain thing there, right? Or resell it. Resell it later yeah. to yeah. other people. Like I think, honestly, one of the plays I'd consider is building, it's R22, so you can build a duplex here. With the City of London Works, you're only allowed three bedrooms. But so I'd build a three bed, three bath, three bed, three bath, right? That's, wow. That's how I'd approach it. Yeah, that'd, that'd be awesome. You just want to maximize your dollar value here. And that's how I think you play out the land to the most value. Yeah. And with like all the potential draws for people that either as an Airbnb, it's got options, right? If you have ensuite bathrooms, two each bedroom, or for people that are going to work here, whether part time or full time, right? But don't necessarily have the capital because we're not talking a lot of high end jobs working at the adventure park. The office park will, but the adventure park probably won't. So, yeah. What's it look like on the inside? It's in good shape. It has a like furnace is like two years old or like furnace 2009. The roof's like two years old. It's uh, like a one bedroom house. It's quite small, but it's like the thing that you could hold. It would maybe cash flow a little bit or it'd be neutral. You can kind of hold it for a few years until you're ready to build or until you're ready to sell it and list it with Jeff Weibo for 200,000 in like a year or two. <laughs> 30 and 200 days. Yeah, uh, so why aren't you going to go for it? It's not part of my strategy right now. No. I'm looking for buy and hold things that cash flow. Um, it's just, yeah, it's not not part of my strategy. The initial goal was to actually present, I don't know if you want to get into yeah, this, but yeah. Like, the owner, we were uh, doing this all to just hand him uh, some offers because he told Matt and I to find him stuff in here. Put some nice kitchens and baths, you're gonna see it needs a bit of work. But then they're trying to get 600,000 there and 450 over here. And when you get out and look at these ones, they're freaking gorgeous, this little stretch of London. Oh, yeah. And then you got the cafe over here, the locomotive cafe over here, Siskins over here. So, oh, and yeah. if you can figure it out, you can actually oh, yeah. duplex this guy too. So. Wow. 